Brandon, thank you very much. A school in Salt Lake City is making history. The Utah Schools for the Deaf and Blind has a new football team. And it's a field of dreams for many of the students participating. Shelby Lofton reports in tonight's Positive Story. Blocking, tackling, catching. It's the basic skills of football. The players on this team use their hands more than most. We have the players who are using signs. So we have that. Um, we have our own communication rather than spoken language. These athletes are deaf or hard of hearing, so playing a team sport isn't something they take for granted. In fact, it's something students have asked for. When students come to you and say, I want something, you want so badly to give it to them. You want so badly for them to have it. And for this year to say, you got it. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm excited for them. <laughs> These 80 yards of grass are a field of dreams for athletes with a communication barrier. I wanted to be part of football. It's my favorite sport. I watch it all the time. I've always wanted to play. This sophomore plays alongside seven teammates. His coach says the game is the same for everyone. We're just having to look at the ball. Once that snap is hit, we're ready to go. Coach Tingley says win or lose, he wants the students to learn about themselves and connect more with the community. Develop connections with other people who are deaf or hard of hearing. They'll travel to schools around Utah. The dream is to play against other schools for the deaf across the country. The game itself is, is still the same. Whether you're deaf, hard of hearing, or if you are a hearing individual that can speak, it's still just a game.